my friends and welcome back to the bench. Today we're going to be testing another gallery product. This is uh, one of their newer air compressors. Um, it's available with just the compressor and one airbrush or a complete set and uh, I will go over that in a second. We'll test it with their Ace, their top of the line airbrush and we'll try it with one of the airbrushes that comes with it. But first let's go ahead and get some business out of the way. The Gundam Aerial Kit giveaway goes to Antithesis Jones. How's that for a name? Uh, you are the winner. Uh, I did send him a comment from the random comment selector. And then I replied to that. And uh, I asked you for uh, all your info, your address, and whatnot. And I'll verify it to you from my email. Um, if you're seeing this before you see the comment, uh, Mr. Jones, uh, the... Email is in the comment section, uh, well, in the comment, it's in the description below the video, it's at the very bottom, and uh, reply to that, and we'll go back and forth, I'll get your address, and uh, we'll get this Gundam Aerial out to you, uh, never fear, I got more Gundam kits coming up for giveaways, um, and uh, some exciting news here, also to give away, um, we're going to be giving away this compressor also, so, that's a biggie right there, anyway, Antithesis Jones, I will put your name attached to it, and you win this awesome Gundam kit. I got a few of these, so many of the giveaways are coming up. Um, all right, so this unit, we will look at it in a second. We will unbox it. The unit in one airbrush. I'm reaching for that airbrush now. Their classic CS30, their entry level, which is still a very good airbrush. Um, comes with it and a few other pieces I guess to get you going that is only 99 bucks for the two you know the two main pieces here uh, that's 99 bucks and the compressor two airbrushes two airbrushes the CS30 and the CS36 which has a removable cup a little more features thrown in um, different size needles 0.3 millimeter is the one that comes with the just the unit and the airbrush and the whole kit comes with both and the second airbrush is a 0.38. Alright, you are also going to get in the full kit um, a cleaning jar, a set of acrylic paints, oh here's the colors, black, white, green, blue, orange, and red. Uh, you're going to get a quick release set of valves. Here we go. Quick release valve and some attachments. Check this out. It gives you one for each of them so that you can both have a quick release. Isn't that awesome? And a bunch of other stuff is also thrown in, cleaners and whatnot. So actually, a good value I have it written down here with everything. $139.99. Uh, a, a pretty good deal. Hold on. We can't quite see the top here. Hold on. Let's turn this there we go. Adjusting the camera as I go here. Look at this, on the fly editing. So uh, yeah, so there you go. But today, the main focus is we're going to look at the compressor. We're gonna see how it operates, how well it works, and um, we'll check the decibel levels. I got the sound meter now. So let's get the extras out of the way here. Hold on guys, I'm off to the side. All right, I'm gonna change this camera angle for you guys. So uh, we can get some kind of an unboxing here. Maybe I'll lift the camera, leave it on the desk, and we'll shoot down from here. Um, so let me pause that and let's open it up and let's see what it looks like and then uh, we'll take it out of the box. So let me pause the camera and I'll be right back. Man, aerial view, you really see how cluttered this desk is getting. <laughs> and uh, yet the middle section I always leave clean. I always need a spot to plop down here and do something quick when the product comes in or I'm painting something. But uh, let's go ahead and see how this is packed. go starting guide this doesn't have a tank but it has a holder for both airbrushes that's pretty nice and uh, it's got our pressure gauge over there all right nice hose real nice hose black hose hold on oh there's the plug that's the airbrush holder oh boy I don't know if I can let me swing the light out of the way guys we might lose some lighting here hold on moving my BenQ light out of the way yeah, let me pause this. I'll put it on the floor, then we'll take it out of this foam because uh, I'm going to end up hitting the lights, which is right above my desk. All right, guys, I was able to 
pull the foam piece out here. Let's go ahead and completely get it out of its packaging. I'm trying to grab the handle here. There we go. There we go. Ah, I do like the purple accents. My first motorcycle was a Suzuki Katana. Black and purple. And I got a lot of comments on the color because back then when I got that thing, there wasn't many black and purple bikes. But yeah, I do have a, a little bit of a soft spot for that color combo. So it's falling on my desk, as we said earlier. Okay, this is the Ambition Series. There it is. Um, pretty well built. It's a little more compact than my other one. But uh, it's pretty much the standard layout. Much really good looking uh, moisture trap there. It's got the rubber feet. To keep the vibration, the power is right there. We have a grounded plug. Yep, standard grounded plug. Let's go in a little closer here. There we go. All right. So we will attach our hose. We'll pick uh, the top of the airbrush, and we will also use uh, we'll use their basic entry level airbrush. Get some of these foams out of the way. And, uh, yeah, we'll paint some stuff. I took a piece of the, uh, this uh, Evergreen Scale Model Company. Great company. They make a lot of uh, plastic and uh, a lot of stuff for the hobbies, pl plastic sheets and whatnot. Great for uh, dioramas, trains. So uh, let's pull this out a little bit. There we go. Yeah, so I will uh, yeah, we'll use this to see how it sprays on it. It's got a little bit of a congregated look to it. So I figured we'd paint something different. We'll use my Mecha Empire anodized blue enamel look at that beautiful color i got some new primers in too from uh sun and seven look at that so all right uh let me get this hooked up over here the booth is over here to my left the pace spray booth and uh, let's plug it in i get the hose attached and uh, we'll even put the uh, quick release on the end here and uh, we'll test the decibels, see how loud it is, and then uh, we'll see how it performs. I'll meet you at the booth. All right, guys, here we are at the booth. You can tell I still have my uh, A-stand uh, chrome spoons. <laughs> that, that is great. <laughs> I still got the spoons, a bunch of them anyway, in the booth. Uh, here it is. Um, I like how small it is, but there's no tank because um, the tank, of course, makes it taller and wider. I'll, I'll show it to you now compared to my uh, Tootie by no name from Spray Gunner. Let me grab that. Oh my goodness. Oh, does it fit? Oh, there we go. I mean, look, <laughs> it's a significant size difference. It's even smaller a little bit than this, but technically this part is all we have. You know, it doesn't have the tank. And this, this is a particular no name, which I've been using for three years, has uh, a really large tank size on it. So uh, there is that. But, um, uh, yeah, so size-wise, you are saving a bit of space. Let me get the 2D out of here. Oh, my goodness. All right. Let's get this down. All right. Let it go to hell. Now we're going to go ahead and check the decibels. And uh, I had a breath. Got to work out some more. All right. Now, it's going to be hard to test the decibels in here because... Is it on? Oh, it's on. Yeah, because... it. It's not going to be near us. I put mine on the floor, and then there's a rug on the floor. It really dampens the sound. But let's go ahead and look at the adjuster, the uh, air pressure adjustment. And I like it at 20. Now, that is excellent. It's only moving, looks like, one pound from where it is. Now, you adjust. Here's how you adjust the air pressure. I don't know if you guys realize how it's done a lot of guys actually don't you're gonna push this in and have air coming out constantly dial where you want it lock it in I'll show you right now so if I want it at 30 I'm gonna dial it at 30 and we're gonna lock it in so when we actually go to press it drops down to the 30 perfectly and never moves this holds its this actually holds the pressure really well because it's holding it's keeping it right at the 30 but I like 20 print, uh, pounds, so let's go ahead. This is their ace. Yeah, I'm using their ace. And we'll try their other airbrush, too, in a second. Ready? We're going to hold it in. I'm going to dial it down to 20 and lock it in.
lock it in. So there we are. Even though it's it's going to sit the needle above like 22 pounds, which isn't a big deal anyway. Um, it's going to go right in at the 20. Now I can't test the decibels here. I got to put the, all the booth off and everything. The fan alone, it's a decibels at almost at 60 dB anyway. Um, the real test is below. So let's go ahead and move it to the floor. And then I will hold up the decibel meter and we will check out the sound. Let me pause this one second. All right, guys, here we go. That's just the booth running and, of course, me talking. And it tells you what it's, con it's uh, compared to. Quiet office is without me talking. And just the fan of the booth running. I mean, just me talking gets it up to busy traffic. So you got to take that into account. All right. Let's see about the noise of the air. Wow, it's pretty quiet. I mean, it's quieter than me talking. It's just below me on the floor. If you guys want to see where it is, hold on. There it is. It's just below at my feet. Now I don't even think it's three feet away. So, let's do it again. Really, really quiet. All right, sound test is over. Uh, just so you guys can see what my, this is my wife's phone because I use the phone to film my own phone and uh, look at her, uh, her screen saver, her, her uh, wallpaper is Bobatos. Iron Blood Office is my wife's favorite show. She's seen the entire series, both seasons, I think six times. Uh, she watches it twice a year, but <laughs> I just thought that was funny. I just realized I'm using her phone and that's her, her, uh, her splash screen. Watch this show. See it? <laughs> anyway, all right, guys. All right, let me get some paint. Let me get that plastic. We'll see how it sprays. And uh, I'm sure it's not going to pulse. It feels pretty good. And then uh, we'll wrap this up, and then uh, we'll give this baby away. All right, let's go. We're going to go with my Mecha Empire. Anodized blue metallic number one. Thinned it out with uh, Mr. Leveling Thinner. All right, let's see how this baby performs. Here we are in the cup. There it is. Now you can hear it shutting off in a little bits, but if you keep it spraying constantly, it's where I got used to stopping and stopping where you're really not supposed to. You're supposed to always have the air coming out and then you move on your finger. And what happened was I ended up, uh, my first compressor was loud, and uh, so I did a lot of stop and starting. <laughs> so I didn't want the sound to come through on this microphone in my early videos. So I ended up getting used to it, but spray any way you guys are used to. You do you, whatever works for you. But yeah, I'm getting no problems here. This is beautiful. It's not pulsating at all. Beautiful color. Look at that color. Let's see how we can spray a nice wide area with this congregated plastic sheet. Awesome color. I love these anodized metals. It's the first colors I did in my uh, paint line was this. Look how nice and even. Wow. Look at that. Beautiful. All right. We'll let that go. We'll go over at the booth, at the bench with the results. But let me clean this out. We'll try the airbrush that comes with it. I'm reaching for it now the CS30 so I will unbox that right here and then uh, I'll hook it up and we'll put something in there we'll put some primer or something and spray another portion of this why not all right let's go ahead and unbox this this of course is their entry level this is their starting place airbrush and it's still a really good airbrush I'm kind of shocked um, 
really good quality. It's heavy. But uh, it is their basic one. The next one up is even nicer with the removable cup. Nice, It's a great cap for backwash. But uh, it sits flush. Yeah, you can put your finger right over it without getting the old needle in the finger. All right, so let's, oh, let's see. Oh, it has a wrench, and it's got the lubrication with it. Pretty nice. And a cap. We will put all this aside. All right, now it's going to need its quick release end, which it came with. So let's go ahead and put that on. There we go. All right, let's see how their entry level classic CS30. works. Let me, uh, I'll grab some primer or something. I'll be right back. All right. Now I don't really going to test this baby out right now. Here we go. This is, oh, let me show you what I'm airbrushing. Sorry, guys. This is Sun and Seven. Sun and, oh, you can't see it there. Sun and Seven, what a name. There you go. It's on the cap, too. This is their Surfacer Oxide Red. Just came in. Uh, I really like, let me reach for something here, guys. One second. There it is. I really, really like this Moto primer. I was kind of shocked at how nice it is. Look at this primer. I mean, it's, it just airbrushed wonderfully. So, uh, I'm uh, all geared up now to try a bunch of other of these primers that aren't so much uh, in the forefront, you know? Let's go ahead. Pour some in. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Pushes it right through. Let's go right below where we put the uh, anodized blue. Now, this is a smaller needle, and we're not going to get as wide as a, a pattern here, you know? Maybe we can go further back with the needle, too. I didn't even think of that. Oh yeah, it's a little better. Anyway. Check that out. Alright. I don't know. I guess we are kind of testing out the, the airbrush. So let's go ahead and see if we can get some fine lines with this. This is as basic as their lineup gets. This is their starting airbrush. I don't know if I... No, I can get some good control out of it. I mean, I'm using a primer, which is a thick paint. So that's pretty good control for a real entry-level airbrush. Really good, actually. I mean, that, those, are, those are pretty fine lines. Not bad. Not bad. But uh, we're really testing out the compressor. But seeing that this comes with it, we might as well test it, right? Let's try and... Uh, let's try and get... Anyway, we are looking good. We'll let this dry. I'll meet you back at the booth, and we shall wrap this up. All right, here we are back at the bench, and uh, it, it wasn't warm at all. I checked it for heat. It wasn't warm. I used it for quite a bit off, off uh, camera, too, to check for its heat and how it ran smooth, and uh, it, it ran smooth. It runs really good. Uh, no problems. It held the pressure exactly where I wanted it the whole time. And um, great results in spraying. I got no pulsating. Look how great this color is. Anodized aluminum from my enamel paint line. Look at that. And uh, the uh, new primer here from uh, Sun and Seven. We'll be testing those more in depth. But um, get the lighting on this. Look at that. Great color. So it is. Uh, it's a thumbs up. 99 bucks, including the basic airbrush in there, and uh, you, you can't go wrong. And at 140 to have this and the next level up airbrush, I will show you that right now. Some people might take the plunge for the extra 40 to get the uh, dual airbrushes. And... There you go. This is the 38, I believe, the CS30, oh, 36. It has a 38. Is that removable? Uh, cup with a gasket right there. Some of my airbrushes don't even have that. 
And, uh, oh, trying to do this from behind the camera. There we go. It's got the polished, right, semi-polished anyway. Their cups are really easy to clean. Um, so this is the other one. You'll get both of them. Plus, I said, a paint set, the cleaning cup, the jar, everything included. So really, really, really good value. And uh, uh, above and beyond the set, this Ace Airbrush is really fantastic. That's it here. This is like their $100 model. And some people won't think a brand they never heard of is worth $100. But uh, this really performs well. I've been using this behind the scenes quite a bit. Um, this is my Ace stand. Gold, I'm going to be... Uh, I didn't forget about you, Ron. My patron, Ron. We're going to spray... Um, the new A-Stand Chrome over this gold and see what it looks like. That's my next test for Patreon. If you want to be a member, join below. You'll see this test, but this is just for him. And uh, But I sprayed these with the Ace, and it just sprayed beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, really, really uh, underrated airbrush here. This guy's is... Uh, uh, it really does perform well. You can see the polished cup right there. Look at that. And yeah, be surprised. I clean out a couple colors on the fly. I took the needle out just now because I haven't really pulled the needle out. It's spotless. The, the needle is still spotless. So it really cleans itself well with that uh, unique uh, nozzle setup that they have. Um, but anyway, there you go. Uh, it's a thumbs up for me. I'll put a link below for the $99 one. And I'll put one for, for the 140 with the full set where you get everything, including the two airbrushes. And uh, I'll put that below too. Matter of fact, I'll put a link for the Ace airbrush too which uh, really is a good airbrush. If you guys are looking to get an airbrush in the $100 range, you cannot go wrong with this airbrush. I like it as much as everything I've used so far. So that's saying something for a new brand. But uh, I spoke with the guys, and they, uh, they're setting out to actually do that, to trying to make a high-quality product and not just, uh, just some cheap thing so everybody buys it based on price. So it's cool. It's great to see a, a new brand come out, and it's quality, you know. But anyway... Uh, there you go. That's the test. Uh, uh, a thumbs up. Uh, please, now, for the giveaway. We will be giving this away. Um, uh, for To win it, I need you to leave a comment, and you got to like the video. So please like the video. It's huge. It gets us in the algorithm. And I need you to leave a comment below. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already, so you'll know uh, when I reply to you or I get a notification for the next video. You guys know when the video is up, so you don't miss out. Uh, if you're the winner of this uh, compressor. Um, uh, maybe Tuesday next week for a video for Wednesday, I will announce the winner of this beautiful air compressor and uh, a great prize. I got even more to give away, more compressors. I got airbrushes. I got this a another Ace airbrush to give away. Uh, tons of stuff, uh, tons of stuff. Uh, the closer we get to 100,000 subscribers, we're going to give away a lot of good stuff, including a spray booth and everything else. But uh, I got a bunch of new paints in, guys. So before I say goodbye, I got, uh, um, look at this, frame red. This is Kawasaki frame red. It doesn't say Kawasaki on it, but uh, they paint some of their bikes in front in this green. I'm doing a, a, a Gundam with the uh, a dark, smoky gray with this frame green trim. But I got the full lineup of um, the Mecha line from uh, Splash Paints. That's going to be coming up soon. And I also have their Eva lineup for the uh, Evangelion uh, paint line. So I got their entire lineup of both the Mecca and the Evangelion. Matter of fact, yeah, it just came in today. Let me show you. Look at that. See that? Look at that. All of them. So I will be testing these out. And we'll be doing another. Here's, here it is, frame green. Look at that. See it? And there's the Kawasaki, the H2R. That's their uh, top-of-the-line bike, their super bike. But uh, these weren't too bad at 4 bucks a piece. So I, got a, I think I got them on uh, the Memorial Day sale. So just so you guys know, I do pay for all this stuff. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, anyway, that's for the splash paints. As a matter of fact, they're sitting right here next to me. Hold on. Here they are. See that? What do we got here? Xeon Gray, Eva Green. So we'll be doing that. Also coming up, I'm going to be testing splash paints car colors on a car body. So uh, I got this futuristic car. It's, a, it's the concept car for the Ford GT. So we'll be spraying this with a splash, and then we're also going to be doing, uh, as I reach back for it, we're spraying this RX-7, and we're going to be doing another brand of uh, car paint. I think we're going to do street blisters, which I haven't tested yet on this also. Also behind the scenes, I'm working on a full Sun and 7 review, both their acrylics and their lacquers, and I got uh, more colors uh, to test from uh, Oticon, 
and I got their uh, new metallics. A lot of stuff to test. Oh, I'm going to do the full test of the A stand within the, the next few weeks. We'll get these done. Behind the scenes, I got to spray all the spoons, so I get I want every color tested, so you guys can see what each one looks like sprayed. So that is coming up also, and I'm working on some different anodized looks uh, for a couple of kits. This is basically matte colored candy paint. So I think I'll show these on video, show you the process of what we're going through. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. Please, please subscribe if you haven't already and leave a like. That's what the thumbs are here uh, below and hit the notification bell. Uh, good luck. Leave a comment below and uh, like the video uh, if you want your chance to win this awesome gallery air compressor. And don't forget to contact me, Mr. Antithesis Jones, for your Gundam aerial kit. I got more of these to give away. And uh, actually, I got a couple of expensive $100 master grades. That's coming up in a giveaway. Lots of stuff. We are very uh, we are uh, very forthcoming here. We give a lot of stuff away. I have so much here that's built up that I might as well start uh, sharing the love, as we say. But anyway, thanks, guys. Have a great rest of your weekend. It's currently Saturday afternoon when I'm filming this. So we'll see you man, probably Tuesday, Wednesday with the next video. And uh, I will announce the winner of this compressor, and we'll get that out to them. And uh, I didn't show this in the video, too, but uh, I just saw this sitting next to me. This is the uh, airbrush holder. It screws on right here, right there. You can see the ring, and it holds the airbrushes this way, if you guys don't have the holders. So that's pretty convenient, too, and it's got the dual, in case you bought the set that has the dual airbrushes. Uh, and there you go. All right. Anyway, guys, have a great rest of your day. Have a wonderful weekend. We will see you in the next video.